All right, here we are in a beautiful Texas morning. Slightly chilly outside and uh, a little windy, so we're doing the videos inside. We're down here in Texas. We've been coming here for the last couple of years, uh, doing a collection, private collection of cars. Uh, two locations this time, about 17 cars, but uh, very neat. They always have some special and fun cars. This is a really fun one. It's a 1950 Willys Overland. Uh, we're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Neat little cars. This is what you would call the early SUV. They had a uh, original sticker around $1,500. I think the in average income was about $3,000 or something like that. So they weren't a cheap in an aspect, but uh, they're a good little unit. They're a two-wheel drive. They're powered by a uh, inline four-cylinder. I think they could have been a six, too, but inline four-cylinder, about 135 cubic inches and 60 horsepower, but just a fun little get-around car. This one has all the weather gear on it. It has a fully folding convertible top on it. It's dressed in its factory. It's a slightly older restoration, so you could pick it for a little flaw here and there paint-wise, but I guarantee you it's better than it would have been from the factory for most part because the paint's really shiny on this one. Um, finished in a two-tone, kind of a uh, yellow, pale yellow with a black sport trim on it, kind of neat. It has the, uh, uh, like we talked about, the full top on it, the full weather package. You can actually run these without these side curtains. We have them all on so you get to see how it looks with them on. It's got a neat little mail slot thing here. I don't know what you'd reach your hand out there for, maybe to try and reach that mirror to adjust it um, or wave somebody on or uh, use a turn signal if you didn't have turn signals on it. But these will remove and you'll have uh, the ability to have just a wide open roadster kind of feel to it. We'll come around back to this side and give you a feel of the interior and we'll get over to the passenger side there. Spotlight on it. Uh, very much the kind of Jeep that you could show and enjoy, uh, drive around town. Good look with the white walls and the Willys Overland uh, hubcaps on it. It's actually a Willys Overland Jeepster. So all the bright work was restored when the restoration was done. Again, slightly older restoration. You pick up for a little flaw here and there. But uh, what a cutie. There's a cow vent there windshield wipers, obviously all the stuff you'd expect. These cars didn't survive a lot because they didn't hold up to weather real well. This is a really rock solid survivor and that's why I use the term survivors because it's been restored but uh, guys get into debates about that but uh, very nice solid body underneath. We'll have it up on the lift for you like we usually do. I mentioned that it's a two-wheel drive. You think of most Jeeps as a four-wheel drive. This is actually a two-wheel drive three-speed overdrive, four-cylinder. Good little gas mileage. Has a uh, inspection station from 1950. It was inspected and approved. Almost looks like a gas rationing sticker from the war era. The dash on these is kind of flowing and nice. The black carries through into this trim level strip and around the windshield trim here. Very utilitarian in sense. Uh, it is a uh, four passenger vehicle or five, whatever you want to call it. These seats fold down um, and this folds up like this. Put it up there so the passengers can have easy access in and out. Somebody's added seat belts here, which is a nice little deal, retractables. Looking at the back seat here, you'll see the back seat, there's plenty of room, fully folding top, give you that. So you can either have top down, or you can have top up, no curtains, side curtains, or all the way dressed like it is right here. Runs and drives good, drove it down to the photo shoot in the park. Starts right up. A lot of cute trim with the top down there. They're really a cute little rig. So, all season hauler, so to speak. Early SUV. Step back and let's take a peek there. Has a spare out back. Early Continental kit. But just a uh, real fun little car. It has these neat little uh, wheel skirts here, fender skirts kind of. Be 
you look here, you'll see a lot of the cars we're doing in the background here that uh, um, do a multiple, again, two locations. Always fun coming down here. Get to the inside here. Oh, there's a little badge, fender badge over here. Jeep, Willie's Overland. Little antenna. All right, we'll get you inside. Sorry for the slight delay uh, or the slight break in the video because my battery went dead. Anyway, bottom line is here, I was showing you this little curtain window. Stick your hand out there. <laughs> anyway, cute inside, very utilitarian. Give you a feel here. The uh, uh, down here, I'll show you where the overdrive control is right here, and the emergency brakes right there. Not functional, probably a tube or something. You can have those fixed, or you can uh, uh, Bluetooth them, send them out to somebody, and have them make them work so they work with your phone. A few little uh, paint scuffs on the steering wheel here. That's an easy fix. It does have a turn signal addition to it. They came with no turn signals. You stuck your arm out the window, which may be what that hole is for. Anyway, when you have the curtains on. Cute utilitarian style dash, the Willys Overland Insignia right here. Three speed on the tree here. We'll fire it up and go over things here with you, what's what. To start this, you turn the key to the on position. And uh, there's the starter button right there, so you push that with your foot. Starts right up. Odometer reading 63,696 miles at the time of inspection. Temp gauge, we haven't had it warmed up long enough. I got the spotlight on. There we go. Puts a little load on it. There you go. Now it's going over. Has a spotlight working spotlight on it. Heater. It's got a heater. Lights, headlights. Uh, choke right here. Pretty much your uh, basic little cruiser. We'll uh, get out and let you hear it run here. Make sure it's neutral. There you go. All right, as promised, we'll get you underneath the hood here. And like we talked about during the walk around, this is a nice, uh, slightly older restoration done in the stock style format. Just a few facts on it as we as we uh, get underneath the hood here. Uh, it's a 134 cubic inch four cylinder uh, overhead valve, one barrel carburetor on it, all stock format ignition wiring, the cloth wiring like you would have seen uh, from the factory. Uh, this is a uh, upgraded, I believe you could get this a uh, Fram add-on oil filter generator down here it's a six volt system on it still so it's still stock in its format the air filter assemblies right here very basic um, factory in, uh, insulator panel on the back here bottom side of the hoods finished engine color do the wiring here we'll actually fire this little girl up for you has a uh, three speed with overdrive manual transmission on it I'll let you hear it run. Purrs, runs good. Like a little sewing machine. All right, we got this little uh, Willys up on the lift here. Very sweet, solid, older restoration on this one. Um, rock solid bottom side. These are pretty susceptible to rust, but man, this beauty is just very solid. One time it may have had a uh, trailer hitch connected to the back, which they removed. 
factory jeeper differential, factory jeep spiral shocks in the back. It's the way they would have mounted these shocks with cotter pins. Very uh, typical of the period. All the inner rockers here are just very nice. If you're looking for a solid one, this one would probably do the trick. Rockers over here. Factory style underneath, kind of kind of old Jeep you can drive. Factory frame, factory uh, leaf spring front suspension. Buggy spring style is what I'd call that. Drum brakes. Actually, ride wouldn't be too bad out of a buggy spring on the front of this. Not a straight axle. Bottom side, they finished. Inside of the fenders are finished with a coating. All right, well, there you have it. Get out and do the uh, bird's eye walk around here. See the bottom side of the panels. There's all these factory pinch spot welds here. Little skirts on the wheels. Or on the uh, wheelhouses up here on the rear. Factory rockers. Willie's Overland. Keep nice bright work up front here. Alright, I think we're about done. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage.